everyone welcome welcome back welcome new subscribers newcomers uh, former subscribers thank you today I'm going to do your reading um, for Taurus this is going to be your weekly reading April 21st through the 27th please remember it is a general reading so if you'd like a personal reading my information's in the description box this will be for your Sun your moon your rising and your Venus signs you um, can check out your other signs um, if this reading does not resonate with you there is a video playlist link in my description box so feel free to check that out the last thing I have for you is um, if you're new to my channel I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month I'm giving away two uh, personal readings uh, to enter you just have to subscribe like and comment um, I'm sorry here I'm just got distracted here <laughs> straightening the cards so to enter subscribe like and comment there's two ways to win there'll be one winner which will be um, the collective of all the videos for the month of April um, all the likes subscribes and comments and then the second way to win is there is a link in my description box for the March winners video which has also an angel message uh, reading on it if you watch that video uh, like and comment that is the second way to win there'll be one winner just from that video so the odds are better uh, to win if you want to win a personal reading okay for that one video all right now I'm gonna pull one message here from Archangel Michael and we'll get started he's the protector angel we're gonna get one card from Archangel Michael and I'm going to read this card at the end of the reading. So if you want to hear the message, uh, stay tuned till the end here and we'll get started. Okay, Taurus. So your first card here is Knight of Gabrielle. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action here. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what, what to do. Okay, so this week you may be feeling very, very passionate about something, okay? This could be love, this could be a career, could be a new hobby, project. Uh, remember, this is a general reading, anything goes. It can be any of those things, love, career, finances, or any people in your life here, okay? And also one more thing, roles can be reversed, so take it how it resonates with you. But definitely there's something that you're, you're going to be very excited about, very passionate about this week. I feel like you're going to, um, it's going to take off. You're going to see some movement I'm feeling here with this, okay? Taking some action. Now the next card that you have is no need to worry, okay? So I feel how your angels are saying that some of you may be worried about this situation, um, or thought maybe that this would never happen or things would never move forward. Um, I'm feeling energy of like maybe you were feeling stuck. Okay, but your angels are saying here, don't worry. All right, it's going to work out here. And, you know, they're showing me here, you know, this happy rainbow here. You know, your hands up in the air like you're feeling free, you're feeling good. Okay, so beautiful energy there. So no need to worry here. You know, you also have the, I'm sorry, I'm, I keep seeing more things. There's the flame here too. You know, there's the passion here again, okay? <clears throat> now the next card that you have is from the Romance Angels. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepers, deepens. So there may be somebody in your life right now that you're getting to know, okay? Could be somebody new that's come into your life. Could be somebody you already know, could be somebody you're with, all right? But whatever the fact, um, I feel like there may be some things that are revealed this week between the two of you. This could be, too, what you're becoming more passionate about, all right? Sparking some passion between you and this person, all right? Beautiful energy there. All right, so let's get started here. Let me just knock these cards here clear the energy and we're gonna get three cards for Taurus thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for Taurus 
April 21st through the 27th. Let's get three cards, please. All right, we have the Hermit card. Could be um, Virgo energy. Okay, you may be going within, doing a lot of thinking about this situation. You know, um, trying to shine a light from within here to get some perspective on how to proceed or that could be you know that energy i was feeling here that you know you were feeling stuck or feeling like things weren't going to move forward so maybe taking some time to think about that we have king of pentacles okay could be earth energy capricorn taurus or virgo all right so th this could be somebody in your life could be also an offer coming in something really um something stable could be something stable financial or in love let's get one more card please okay we got two cards actually that one goes there all right page of swords okay so if this is an offer of love coming in for you this could be somebody who has been um, checking you out. Oh, look at beautiful. We have the star card here. Could be Aquarius energy here. Okay, I feel like something is coming to fruition here. Something that you've been hoping for, wishing for. This could also too be about you um, gaining control over your emotions, doing some healing, some spiritual work as well. Wow, beautiful energy there. Okay, so let's get, look at this here. Yeah, so this could be you or somebody in your life here really um, taking some time to go within. This person too could be checking you out, okay? Could be checking you out on social media or trying to gather information about you, okay? I feel here this person's ready, um, is getting ready to make some type of move, make some type of offer if this is love for you. For others, if this... <laughs> Oops, sorry, my dog just started barking. If this is a work or career, I feel here this could be, you know, you trying to make some decisions here or getting ready to take some action here with the Knight of Gabrielle, okay? Planning for a more stable future. But there may be um, some communication that you're waiting for or you may be needing some clarity, okay? Or needing to gain some more information Okay, that could be here what this worry is about. Let's see here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. My favorite card here. <laughs> this is the um, Ace of Wands. Okay, this is a passionate new start here. Okay, this is definitely going to move things forward for you. Ace of Wands here. Could be fire energy, Aries or Sagittarius. This is a passionate new beginning. This is also an abundant new beginning, okay? I feel here, if there is something here with this King of Pentacles, okay, we're gonna talk finances here. If there is um, some money that you've been waiting for or you've been worried about money, the Ace of Wands comes to tell you there's something um, very abundant coming in for you, okay? You could receive a lump, uh, lump sum of money. This could also be um, an in a small inheritance. Could be a big in an inheritance. Okay. Could be also, you know, this offer of love that I'm seeing as well. But whatever it is, okay, it's going to feel magical. It's going to feel special. It could be something you've been hoping and wishing for. So let's keep going. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Let's get two cards. Okay. I feel for some of you, if this is somebody new coming in, this person really wants to get to know you. Um, I feel that they're already checking you out. Okay. I feel here this person's very stable, very solid. Um, somebody who would make a commitment if this is somebody new for you, okay? feel like they're getting ready to take some action here, okay? They're ready, getting ready to make an offer. Wow, beautiful. Center of the reading, you have Ten of Pentacles, okay? Again, it's actually your energy, Earth energy, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But just remember, it can be any sign. But if I say your sign, um, it's going to resonate... Um, even more for you okay your sign or the person you're dealing with okay 
Uh, then we have the Ten of Wands, two tens here, and then we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so here, I feel like this is something very passionate coming into fruition here. This, I feel, is your energy here with the Knight of Gabrielle. I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're passionate. I feel like you're creative. You're ready to take some action. This could be your person as well. Um, again, this is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy here, fire energy, okay? Okay, so, yeah, this, this situation here, we're going to do, I feel here, and um, like I said, if this is financial for you, I feel like you have definitely felt challenged, maybe felt burdened here with the Ten of Wands. Okay, but this um, this abundance that's coming in for you is going to definitely provide a stable future for you. Okay, so there's something coming in that's going to provide you something stable. And your angels are saying here not to worry. Okay, if this is love for you, I feel here, you know, this has been a long, a long road for you. For some of you, you may have been single for a long time. Okay feel like you know you're never going to get to the top of that mountain and see what's on the other side okay for some of you you could be single here this hot queen of wands here ready to go right um being strong being passionate okay um for others if this is somebody that you know that that is not a new person there may have been some past struggles um, you may be in a commitment with this person but whatever the case may be, I feel like there is going to be a change here, okay? There's going to be something more stable than what there has been in the past. If you're, you know, dealing with somebody that, um, you know, you've definitely had some challenges with, okay? So I feel like there may be a new spark here if this is somebody you already know. All right, let's keep going. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus, April 21st through the 27th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Let's get three cards, please. All right. We have three of wands. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Opportunities coming in for you. Okay, let's get two more cards, please. Two more cards. Oh. I think we got two more two more cards here I'm not gonna pull this card but I'm just gonna say here you have the moon card here okay so could be Pisces energy could be um, some fears okay about the situation all right we have four of swords and we have the high priestess Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck Oh, beautiful <laughs> You have the sun card. Yeah, it's all going to work out for you, Taurus. That's what I'm getting here. Beautiful energy here. Could be a Leo. Okay. Could be, um, you know, small, small percentage of you could be um, pregnant or having a child in um, August is what I'm getting. All right. But this, for the most part, is just, um, you know, complete joy, happiness. Um, you know, things are going to become fruitful. Okay, the energy here is, you know, complete bliss and joy, right? Like I said, very small percentage of you, I always get comments, oh, I'm not getting pregnant, I'm, you know, I can't, I'm, I'm too old to be pregnant. This is going to be for a small, sum of, small percentage of you that may be pregnant or getting pregnant, okay? Um, but for the most part, this card brings happiness here, okay? So... Three of Wands, Four of Swords, and the High Priestess here. Okay. So, you know, this is definitely um, what I'm getting here is that definitely opportunities are coming in here with the Three of Wands. Again, Fire Energy, Aries, or Sagittarius. I feel like you've really taken some time. You've taken a break. Um, you've taken time to think about things. 
I said that I felt here with the Ten of Wands, that's been, you know, a, it's been a long haul for you, okay? Or there's been some heavy energy here. So I feel like you've really gone within, you've used your intuition here with the High Priestess and really taking some time to think about things. And we saw that here with the Hermit card as well, all right? Now, um, whatever's coming in for you, okay? Whatever's coming in for you, I definitely feel here that, um, you know, this is something that you've, you've thought about for a while, okay? For some of you, you know, this abundance that's coming in, it may be unexpected, but um, for others, I feel there's something that's coming in that um, you've been thinking about this for a while, and if this is love for you, um, it, you may have taken a break with this person, okay, with the Four of Swords. But I do get here in the center of the, center of the reading here, the heart of the reading, we have Ten of Pentacles, which tells me you're going to feel a lot of stability. And I feel like there is an offer coming in, whether it's um, an abundant financial offer for you or it's a love offer. But it's going to make you feel um, very secure and stable here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull, and I should add happy, <laughs> very happy here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to pull a few cards, just get some clarity cards here for Taurus. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus? Let's get some clarity for the cards that are on the board here. Let's get some clarity for Taurus, April 21st through the 27th. Thank you, angels and spirit. There we go. Okay. King of Swords. Okay. Got some communication some clarity again three of wands here okay your ships are coming in definitely your ships are coming in okay king of swords if this is a person this person could have been a little bit you know detached or distant in the past let's get Page of Swords, you have a Page of Swords again. So this could be this new person I talked about if this is somebody new for you. I feel here you're gonna get some communication from this person. Let's get one more card, please. This person could be a little younger than you or may not be, but could have youthful energy. <clears throat> victory card, wow, Six of Wands, you have the Victory card. Three of Wands, let me just say this here, Three of Wands and Six of Wands, okay? Your ships are coming in and you're gaining victory here in this situation. You're going to feel really good about this situation. Again, Fire Energy, Aries, they are Sagittarius. Now, I talked about you have the King of Swords and the Page of Swords. You had the Page of Swords already. So I definitely feel here, for some of you, if this is new love, I feel here this person's been checking you out, trying to find out what... Um, you know, find out all they can about you. And they're definitely coming in with some communication here with the King of Swords. If this is not a new love um, and this is finances for you, okay, I feel here that definitely you have some clarity and communication coming in, okay? I feel like this news is going to make you feel freer, is going to take this worry away, okay? I feel like it's going to have to do with this abundance that's coming in for you. And if this is somebody in love that you already know, I feel here, you're going to hear from this person. This person may have been distant from you. You know, they also could um, be trying to figure out what you're doing, you know, during this time of the break that I see between the two of you. But I definitely feel here, you're going to hear from this person. All right. So we're going to close out the reading. And we're going to read the Archangel Michael message. Let's see what we have here. So the message you have from Archangel Michael is called, Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Okay. The situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Michael's help. This card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving you inner peace, new ideas, and insights. Michael will help you in ingenious and unexpected ways. So be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. 
So possible specific meanings, know that you're powerful, you're not a victim. Release any blame for yourself or others. Focus upon solutions, not problems. Allow other people to help you. Keep an open mind to alternative solutions. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is <clears throat> Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with my current situation. Please help me to be filled with faith and peace at all times. Okay, so very nice message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love. Okay. Get one more reading.